All right, uh, today in this video, I'm gonna show one uh, kind of like an arm bar that I learned a couple years ago when I was in Hawaii from my friend uh, Kai Garcia. So he likes to do that a lot. And it's something that uh, happens all the time when you're rolling, when you're fighting, especially when your opponent's not giving up. So it's something that surprises a lot, right? So here, first thing, when your opponent has like a good defense, the elbows in, so you don't have like a, a good posture, right? So what are you gonna do? First, you need him to fight against you, right? So you need him to, to defend. So first thing that I like to do is what? I go hands, uh, my hand over, but look, I don't get thumb inside, okay, why? Because I need to take my hand fast. So that's why you just make a grip on the, on the shoulder and start putting a lot of pressure on the forearm. But look, so of course, now you put pressure on the chest and the forearm, but when he start pushing, so it doesn't matter if you're gonna push your neck or your chest, but you start releasing a little bit the pressure, right? So look, so now he's gonna like fighting more, so if you feel like he's pushing, you start putting a, a little bit more pressure, but you kind of like release the, the, the chest, right? The pressure of the chest. So when he start pushing, look, most of the times when you release, he start doing hip escape as well, okay? So now is the moment that he give to you. You kind of like baiting the guy. So what are you gonna do? At the same time, you need to pass, so you need to lock his hand, right? Lock his wrist, but at the same time, you need to pass over his elbow. So look, you're gonna control and you're gonna pass over, right? So when you pass over here, you just control. So this hand, you're gonna pull towards you and this one up, but at the same time, look, my chest is not up, my chest is down, so now I just push back, right, push down, I mean. So look, and my pressure is still out here, so look, my hips still have, and I'm gonna get the submission. Of course, I'm doing really slow, but the position is gonna be something fast. Most of the times, he's not gonna have time to tap, so most of the time in that situation, is gonna be a verbal tap, right? So look, I'm putting pressure, he start defending, look, and I start release, then look, a lot of times I don't even like hold, so I just put in, I just pull, and he's gonna tap, right? So look, control the wrist, and go down, you get the submission, right? So one more time, so it's gonna be fast, okay? Pressure, right, so release a little bit, and now look, control and turn, so look, Pressure, pressure, when he pushes, and you get the submission. See, when I roll here, so look, a lot of pressure is gonna be here, kind of like when he starts on his armpit. So I'm controlling, the, uh, controlling the, the, the wrist, pulling to me, and this one, I kind of like, one pull towards my, my chest, the other one just up, right? And go down, right? So that's why I'm saying he's not gonna have time to tap. Most of the time it's gonna be like a verbal tap. Okay? So the most important is to bait your opponent, right? The key, of course, is, is easy to do, but the most important part is to set up, right? To make him feel comfortable, make him push. So when he's like pushing, so look, that's the normal situation. Even if he does the hip escape, Right? You got this image. Right guys? 